welcome to the course on design of power electronic converters. Uh, we were discussing snubbers and uh, we had seen RC snubbers. Now let us look into the analysis of RCD snubbers. To explain RCD snubbers, I am using this circuit. This uh, is the familiar circuit uh, which we have used earlier also. It is actually a reduced version of the edge bridge converter. So, what we have here is the diode and then there is this uh, switch here it is uh, represented as an IGBT but you can also use MOSFET here. So, whatever analysis we do we basically if you use any kind of transistor it is applicable. And uh, then we have this uh, voltage source E and then there is this uh, load I L this is represented as a current source I L and here this is the snubber part which is your RS, CS and DS RC D snubber and the voltage across the device is uh, denoted as E and the current through this device is denoted as ISW. So, the circuit functioning is uh, simple. So, whenever the switch is on the current flows through the switch and whenever the switch is off the current free wheels through this diode. Now, let us uh, look into what happens with this uh, snubber. So, this is a turn off snubber. So, while the device is getting turned off at that time this diode is forward biased and it conducts and it uh, bypasses this uh, resistor RS. So, this resistor RS is not having any role when this diode DS is going to conduct. And the current then flows through CS and it charges this capacitor CS. And so, if we consider this as a short then whatever is the voltage across this CS that is going to be the device voltage E. For our analysis we that is what we are going to take it as we would not consider the drop across the diode, uh, but uh, the voltage across the capacitor as the voltage that appears across this device and that is the voltage E which appears when the device is going to turn off. So, while charging during turn off it takes this path this CS charges through this DS and when uh, turn on happens at that time the CS uh, discharges through this RS in the switch. So, what uh, we are telling is that that uh, during turn off your voltage E builds up and that is the time when your CS is charging and during turn on CS discharges through RS. Now, one more thing that we are going to assume is that that during turn off your ISW is decided by by the switch characteristics. And uh, for simplicity, we are assuming that the snubber is not affecting this current ISW during turn off. It is the voltage which is affected by the snubber action. Now, why are we making this uh, simplicity and why are we assuming it? Because uh, I mean these switching actions, your switching characteristics they are governed by very complex differential equations. We have to go to the device physics to properly understand them and uh, that taking into account designing this number becomes very, very difficult. So, this analysis whatever we are doing you should regard it as a qualitative analysis 
And as I have told before also that this number what values that we choose they are the first estimate, they are the values which are good to start with your experiment when you are uh, designing your converter. You start with those values by your calculations, by this analysis, whatever equations that we get, whatever graphs that we obtain. Using it, you are going to get some values for your snubber RS and CS and uh, you will start your experiments with that design. And then as you perform experiments, you see the performance, the actual performance, the waveforms and then you can fine tune on those values. That is how design are performed. These RS and CS values, these number values, it is not possible to do their calculation, uh, I mean exact calculation theoretically, it, it becomes very complicated. So, for analysis also we have to do some simplifications and that is the simplification that your the switch current is not getting affected by this number action, uh, the device voltage is getting affected and also next assumption that uh, accordingly we will take is that, that your the switching time uh, which we will call it as the TS that time is also not getting affected. In practice, it is going to get affected. The snubber action will also change the turn on and turn off times, but for again sake of simplicity of analysis, we will assume that this switching time is not getting affected. So, uh, let me write down that assumption as well. So, this uh, turn off time TS is not affected. This is what we are assuming for simplicity. So, before doing the analysis for RCD snubber, let us uh, get some equations so when no snubber is used. So, when no snubber is used, uh, uh, you know that uh, during turn off, what happens is that it is your voltage which first builds up. So, for this time T1, first the voltage builds up this is where your voltage is building up for this time T1 and after that the current falls and that is that happens at time T2. So, during time T1 the current does not change it remains the same and when the current falls at that time the voltage is already reached to its final value E which the device is supposed to block. So, uh, this time d1 plus t2 uh, we will take it as the turn off time t s. Now, let us uh, look into the switching loss that we can derive from this. So, let us say uh, this is the transistor loss or, or the device loss and this is the total loss because there is no snubber. So, we will call it as w t is the total loss. Uh, which is basically your the device uh, switching loss during turn off. So, here you have this E in multiplied by ISW and uh, we integrate over this time period 0 to T s and uh, then you can write simple equations uh, for uh, this uh, T 1 part and this T 2 part. So, T 1 part it is the current which falls. Uh, which basically rises uh, uh, from your uh, 0 to uh, capital E. So, that is given as E T by T 1 D T and multiplied by this uh, constant current I L and further uh, for this time period T 2 you have uh, this voltage is called fixed. So, it is the E voltage and current falls from the value I L to value 0. So, if we can uh, write it in this manner. So, 1 minus T minus T 1 by T s minus T 1. So, and this integration goes from T 1 to time period T s. So, you do this integration and when you reduce it, what you will be getting is this E i l T s by 2. So, this is the loss that is going to take place when there is no snubber. So, this we have done as a reference because uh, from the analysis we will be comparing 
the snubber loss plus device loss with the, the condition when there is no snubber that means with the only device loss. So, let us now see the RCD snubber analysis. So, this is the same circuit which is uh, redrawn here and then uh, this uh, switch current ISW this will be written as IL 1 minus uh, T by T s because uh, this is going to fall and uh, then we have this capacitor current this capacitor current I c which is going to be the difference of I l minus of I s w. So, this is the current I l and uh, so you subtract I s w from it and so this is what is going to flow through your capacitor and voltage across the switch it is E and that is going to be the integral of this uh, I c d t because uh, as I told you that this we will assume 0 the voltage across this diode to keep the analysis simple. So, then uh, this is what uh, you have to solve it. So, you substitute here I l minus I s w and then we basically substitute for this I s w from here and then uh, you reduce it and you integrate. So, this is what you are going to get I l t square by 2 C s into T s. Now, T s is the turn off time as uh, we had just uh, seen a while back. Now, let us uh, look into this uh, waveforms that are drawn here. So, first one is your uh, no snubber case. So, this is for no snubber. This is what you are familiar with that there are two intervals T1 and T2 and first the voltage increases in T1 time interval and then it falls in the T2 time interval. Then. Uh, what we are telling is that when you have uh, added this number then this voltage this voltage E this one is going to get affected. So, this part is going to get affected. So, by that action what happens is that we assume that the current falls during this time period at T s during this turn off time period it falls from your I l value to the load current value to 0 and uh, the current uh, but this voltage builds up across the capacitor it gets charged. Now, while it gets charged depending on this value of capacitor this number capacitor C is chosen it may so happen the voltage may build up before this turn off time period is over. So, that is this case or it may so happen that it may exactly reach uh, to the voltage E at time T s or it may so happen that it may build up slowly if, it, if the C is, is large enough and it may reach to the blocking voltage E later than the turn off time period T s. So, depending on that we divide the snubber in three parts one is your normal snubber. So, normal snubber means uh, this case where what you have is that the T s falls from I l to 0 in time T s period and this voltage E that builds up up till this blocking voltage capital E in time T s period exactly. Okay. So, the switch current is falling in the same pace it is the same for all the three snubber cases. Uh, but in the normal snubber case it will reach to this blocking voltage exactly at time T s. And if it is uh, smaller than that then it will build up quickly and it will reach to the blocking voltage before time T s period and let us say that time period is T c. So, in that case we call that as a small snubber. And then third case may be it is large enough and it builds up slowly. So, that is your large snubber. So, if we have uh, to write some equations. So, for normal snubber at T equal to T s 
your this device voltage or the capacitor voltage is equal to the blocking voltage at that time capital E and then if you substitute in this equation here this will become ILT square by 2 C S uh, T S. So, from there what you can get is that that your C N S equal to ILTS by 2 E. So, this is the um, equation for your normals number. Okay, this kind of gives a base value uh, and relative to which you decide whether uh, uh, your smalls number or large number action is going to take place. So, uh, for uh, this lecture uh, we will stop here and in the next lecture we will continue um, on this analysis further. Thank you.